the Australia with the Ready for the Collective. What do we need to focus on? People that are watching the Collective. Watching. This one's to come out. All right. So we've got healing and change. So um, this is about restoring your health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to you through your senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. With change, we've got um, supporting your ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that you can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. So big changes happening for you right now and a lot of healing going on. Under the deck we have Miracle. So definitely anything is possible here. It feels like there's change coming, healing, and a miracle. Miracle is on its way to you. Which is very, very, very nice message. That's a very nice message. So let's see um, what that's in regards to. Going through a healing time of change. Expect miracles. Ask for miracles. So what is this in regards to? guidance trust trust the signs your spirit guides and angels are supporting you it's really it's really nice i think this has to do with any sort of unsupported family and friends so you're going through a lot of changes right now and um maybe if it's feeling like a little lonely or unsupportive um deception and just you've been through a lot that just know that you know these miracles that you've been asking for especially when you tuned into the universal love energy and um incorporating the delight about just the 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 universe even inside the matrix just feeling gratitude and drawing that universal love using synergy to um, balance out masculine, feminine, and the divine together. All of those things and, and your, your prayers as well with this miracle card here. And this also has to do with union. So the things that you um, have been working towards I feel like if this is like if you believe in miracles especially um, that, that, that can, uh, happen for you. Very, very positive. Um. Okay, so, maybe it's been, been a ch challenging time. You stayed in the universal love energy. Union coming together, you know, that can, that can also be um, friendships and, and work, work connections and collaborations as well. Wow, wow. So it feels like right now, this, this feels like the miracle of energy to me. It definitely does. There's synergy, there's synergy that is happening to bring this Ace of Pentacles to you right now there's a manifestation a blessing an opportunity coming something that maybe you can't see with this moon card here or or this is also in spite of some some fear or deceptions that are happening because we know we've got this like lack of support and it just feels maybe negative and like more of the same and but you feel like they're you feel something good, or even if you don't, um, you've been focusing on healing and you know something will change and it feels like this is that moment. This is that energy for you. 
You might have been hoping for, ju for justice and clear thinking or even just someone to um, kind of believe in you and for the, the right things to happen. You might have had to be, be this king of swords yourself or maybe there's someone who's been operating in the background that's been, um, you know, very, very ruthless and uncaring um, energy in your life that's kind of, you feel in your subconscious is trying to like, draw you away from your blessings and your north node, but it's coming anyway. As you're healing here, that's what's happening. Yeah, it's been it's been a, a lot. You've been working really hard. Um, you've been through a lot of betrayals, and there's been a lot of weight on your shoulders. And this could have also been just people who've just been working really hard and at actually betraying you and weighing you down. Just really focused on that. That that it's like this is an acknowledgement that those things have been happening, but in spite of it. In spite of the lack of support and not being able to see everything clearly, things are coming. It's because you've stayed in that openness. That openness. Wow, so we've got King of Pentacles here and Six of Wands. So it looks like success, accolades. Uh, with this King of Pen Pentacles energy that could be you emanating this kind of leadership role. That's what you're intending to do and that's what's going to happen. This could be a Divine Masculine energy intending on um, being successful with you. This could be a partner, King of Pentacles partner that you partner up with. So just really good here. That's the intentions there and that's good. Okay, so we've got Page of Pentacles and Devil here. Could be something that emerges in the near future uh, about some sort of toxicity, some sort of evidence. But I feel like this is going to work out in your favor. Because I feel like that's evidence. And that could also be more of this kind of toxic energy just still being kind of like obsessed with you or jealous. It could be jealous, obsessed energy. I'll get clarification of that. You feel like you've been going through this awakening and you're really trying to pay attention. These are things that you've been also praying for. You're trying to keep faith and hope. Here, this is like dreams coming true. This is like wish your wishes connected to this awakening. You feel like it's like the final judgment and that's what you're focused on. You're trying to, it's like trying to align trying to align, heal and align and allow these changes. Allow, allow the miracle that you um, have been hoping for. Yeah, it just feels like truth and clarity in your environment. A lot of things have come to the surface where things that were hidden are now being exposed. A lot of truths coming out truth is hard to deny about who you are and people see you as someone who's who's got clarity speaks truthfully this feels like uh hopes and fears is like being separated from from like a dream come true or joy just feeling like either not like wanting to let yourself down by slipping into some darker energy or being left out in the cold as far as some dream goes. Outcome feels like some sort of movement. This could be traveling, migrating somewhere. Knight of Wands feels like very passionate energy, moving towards someone. You know what I'm realizing too is that this could be masculine energy hoping for a miracle. Let's 
take a look and see if this is a DM. This is you. Yeah, healing some wounds there. And this mentor father, this could be some sort of masculine energy. Um, this king of swords, or there could be some masculine energy. It could be male or female, but masculine energy there to help you soon. There could be someone showing up as well. Mystic, that's you. Intimate union with the divine. Permit, you might have been spending a lot of time alone. Really trying to maintain symbolic purity of heart and spirit here. And preserving knowledge and information. I feel like this is you. Let's get one more clarification with this devil. Devil with this page of pentacles. Thief. So you definitely have got something coming here, and it feels like there's something you can't see. You're intending on being successful, maybe with this as yourself, like just being your own boss or being the boss or being in charge and just really having a command of your material world here. Um, and then you've got in this near future, you've got this opportunity and then you've got this devil energy coming along with it in the form of this thief here. You're being very, you're just very spiritually minded at the moment, which is very, very good. Focused in on this miracle. Tell me more about this thief. I think I do feel like it's something coming to light. But you know what? Let me uh, first clarify this page of pentacles. Yeah, it's this, something that's coming towards you that's going to be very constant and solid. Or this could be something that someone was con doing consistently. This person popping up here. Definitely a person. Thief is like an energy thief. Toxic, obsess obsessed person. This is about faithfulness that's emerging in your life. It could be any kind of collaboration, reunion, love, soulmate, connection faithfulness to your work or goals as well. Let's get more clarification. So what do we need to know about this near future? It has to do with a union or collaboration here. So it's like something is going to What I don't know yet is if this is something that's going to come to fruition and then you've got someone trying to take it <laughs> or if you've got an obsessed kind of like a narcissistic or stalker or a copycat um, trying to, you know, they show themselves or if this is evidence. on this near future with a devil thief popping up in regards to some 
union or collaboration. What's going on? Why is this showing up? Got creeping. So definitely someone being obsessed. Got some obsess obsession coming up soon. Interesting. Okay. So you've got this opportunity or we'll find out if this is, I don't know if it's evidence that this person has been doing these toxic things. Stalking, creeping, being obsessed, trying to take your energy. So it's like this blessing comes in and then you've got this toxicity. Or if it's evidence. Let's see. Really on the right track. It's interesting that you've got this moon card here because that could be what you're kind of feeling happening in the background. Tell me more about this. Is this evidence or is this someone showing up being toxic? What is this coming up in the near future? Wow, it's a high priestess in the reverse. So you've got someone very jealous, toxic, manipulative, really disconnected, not using their intuition, or they think that they're connected to their intuition, but they're really connected to something very, very toxic here. Keep digging. Because, yeah, you're trying to think through this, this. You feel this Ace of Pentacles coming to you. And it feels like the right... It feels like it's almost there. Something you can't see. And then it feels like it's, it arrives. But then there's this person who is maybe very materialistic as well. Maybe concerned with what you have. Someone who's like a little clout, clout chasing, very calculating, very calculating clout chaser, showing up. Maybe also very controlling as well. Hmm. someone who is easily seduced or is a little bit of a Jezebel succubus energy hmm. okay so creeping creeping stalking you you might feel stalker energy get more intense here when this ace turns into the page. This is like the potential, but then it really does arrive. And then we need to know about this. Hmm. Maybe you need to practice some sort of forgiveness for this person. Maybe you already have, you've let them go, or, hmm, is there one more? This has to do with communication. Mm -hmm. We've got miracles, again, connection. Base chakra. Feels like communication, relationship stuff here. Faith, miracle. It's like almost something that you have manifested here. And then it's like you become 
a point of interest. Become a point of interest. It's like attracting some toxic energy that wants to come in and control. It's like seeing you have something or something comes in for you and then now this energy emerges. But it's almost like... obsessed with your faith or your capacity to create this. Because you've been, you've just been really, really healing here. So it's, you've been trust, you've been trusting the steps and then it's like this bad influence wants to come in and interrupt it somehow. Okay. Um, what I want to do is also just clarify, I want to clarify. I want to clarify that six of swords okay so we've got legal issues and then we've got bankrupt so it feels like this person is going to have to just you're it's like you're gonna be ignoring whatever this toxicity is and eventually just be unbothered by it there could be something having to do with ro romance or love connected to this person this devil energy chasing so it could be like a third party so whether it's love or business I mean generally I'm feeling with the high priestess in reverse it does feel like a feminine energy and this could be someone trying to get involved in something that, you know, you've just really stayed focused on. You've been very constant. You've had the faith. You, you manifested. You manifested or you allowed this blessing. You've been very focused. And then you've got this toxic energy that shows up, maybe trying to offer you something. I don't know, trying to interrupt your faith or play on your faith or ask for forgiveness. Not sure. Tell me about this energy that popped up with this devil card. We'll just ask that and I feel like this is just to be aware that this is kind of going to come simultaneously. I don't know that it's evidence. It's like, or you're, you might have to make a decision here with this chess game because someone's trying to be in control or someone's trying to be in control of your decision or someone's trying to be in control of someone's decision because it could have to do with this union. So I think just put put it, you know, as it applies, take it how it resonates, who, you, who this is for you. Okay, so we've got a Don Juan energy. This could be male or female, but someone who uses the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. God, someone with like a God complex. Trickster. Transcending convention. Manipulating others through duplicity. Got a duplicitous energy wanting to show up. Engineer that definitely feels someone who's like detached from emotions and empathy. Hmm. And with this Knight of Wands, it could be a player energy. Could be. Or well, that's you being very passionate and healing. Tell me about this devil character. Scribe. 
someone who alters facts or plagiarizes, which feels like copycat. Inabil inability to grow up and be responsible. Addict, someone who struggles with, they, they compromise their integrity or allow addictive patterns to have authority over their inner spirit, which makes sense with that devil card. It's very obsessed. There's some sort of obsessed energy here. Page of Pentacles. This could be an offer for something coming from this obsessed energy. Someone with like a God complex. Trying to control. So it could either be something comes full, using humor to wound rather than liberate, denial of your emotional truth. So I would just say in the near future to look, you know, definitely more deeply if you get presented with an offer. There are a couple things that I'm seeing. You could get presented with an offer from like a high priestess in the reverse. So this could be a feminine energy that's very disconnected, uh, but thinks that they are very secretive um, and has this god complex and is addicted to um, sort of spying on you or creeping or wants control over you. They could present you with an offer, try to appeal to your faith. This could be something, an offer comes in for you, some opportunity or investment, some partnership, and then simultaneously, because that's something that is seen or heard about, uh, this energy comes in that's very obsessed and addictive and uh, trickster energy that tries to influence you because they want control. Thief could be trying to steal money, time, or, or energy, or even like your confidence. That could be... Um, so yeah, it's either getting presented with an offer from some some toxic energy. It could be um, like, you know, this could be like someone asks you for your hand in marriage and then you've got some obsessed feminine energy trying to uh, stop it. It could be that as well. This could be... Yeah, I feel like there's multiple kind of scenarios here and I think this is just sort of just to be aware in the near future of what that is it feels like this energy is going to have to move on though you'll end up unbothered by it I feel like you'll know what to do um, when it when it arises so so there you go there's some truth coming out here I wonder if I should ask one more question. Tell me anything else I need to know about this near future. This near future circumstance. Can I get more specific? Wow. Yeah, it's definitely with this girl fight. It's like some sort of like high priestess in the reverse feminine energy that's in competition with you. That's lonely and, and fo overly focused on you. Someone who might be experiencing bad karma. Someone that has like a bad habit as well. It could be an unsupportive friend. It could be a karmic feminine. Um, but it definitely feels like someone who is in competition with your blessings. And, but it feels like continue with this faith card. It's like they're in awe of your faith. And I think for, with this forgiveness card here, just forgive. Forgive this person as this blessing comes in so it doesn't block block the blessing. That's what I think I take away from this. This person is, is having a, a tough time. And I don't know if they show up in your energy or you just feel them or... This could also be evidence of something that comes out that they did in the past as well. But whatever you do, Focusing on your faith, your um, your faith and your forgiveness.